Hey guys, it's Nikki here, and I am here with Tanner Osri, and he's just hours away from opening for Shane Smith and the Saints here at the Mother Church of Country Music, the Ryman Auditorium. How you doing, man? Good. I'm super excited. Good. I've been looking forward to this uh, for a long time. So. I love to hear that. Is this your first here. time playing at the Ryman? Yep. Nice. Yep. And how you feel about that? It's it's pretty pretty magical. It's, it's pretty magical. It's crazy. You've had a heck of a year, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. It's been a long one for sure. Yeah. <laughs> You also signed with a big label earlier yep. this year. What's changed for you since joining Atlantic? Um, you know, I, I, I think we're definitely getting uh, more press looks for sure. Yeah, and, uh, they're, help, just, they're they're helping out a lot uh, with uh, with stuff like that. And I love to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> what does the rest of this month have in store for you? Uh, we are about to go back out with Paul Cawthon. Okay. Um, love Paul. Uh, on the West Coast this time. Uh, okay. Because uh, we just got done with that East Coast run. They'll be doing NFR. Nice. Um, so that's, I'm excited for that. National Finals Radio in Vegas. Yep, yep. Okay. That's what we got. That's amazing. And so then you're also kicking off a headlining tour next year. Yes. So we're starting in January. Yep. And how long will you be on the road for that one? Uh, I think January to like the first week of March. Nice. So, so you got three months worth of touring yep. on a headlining tour. And as far as I know, those tickets go on sale tomorrow, right? Yeah. Pre-sale tonight. Nice. And then... Sale, sale tomorrow. So everyone, mark your calendars to go get those tickets for Tanner's headlining show starting early 2024. Now, you are just on the heels of your debut album yep. release, Crossing Lines, that came out on the 17th. What has been the feedback that you've gotten since releasing that album? Um, it's been pretty good. Uh, yeah. You know, I, uh, it's been a long time coming for sure because yeah. I, was, I was releasing a bunch of singles. And... Uh, I think people were ready for the for the record. So. Absolutely. I'm, I'm glad that it's finally out, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a huge fan of that record, by the way. I've listened to it multiple times. And I think what's super interesting about it is that it feels like you brought in a lot of different influences into yeah. this particular work. Like, you have a little bit of the rock and roll. You yeah. have a little bit of the Americana. Is that something that was completely intentional, like bringing in a lot of different sounds? Or what was different, like, sound-wise for you with this? I don't know that it was intentional, um, but it's definitely something that I've always just done uh, without knowing it. Just, let, yeah. just letting the songs be what they're going to be, you know? Okay. Not pushing myself into one genre, sure. necessarily. Uh, like, a really broad appeal. Yeah. So you have a stellar, stellar recording on there with Ella Langley, yes. Beautiful Lies. Yeah. So you originally released that as a solo. Yeah. What inspired the duet? It was really Atlantic that really wanted to wanted to do it. And I, I was like, all right, well, if we're going to redo it, we need to do it the right way and yeah. like, do it differently. Yeah, it turned out great. Ella's, Ella's a powerhouse for sure. She is, yeah. She's definitely killing it around too. Yeah. I love that one. That one's so good. Okay, so you're originally from Texas. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about how like the music scene in Texas was influential to you as you were coming up as an artist. I mean, that's pretty much what shaped me, you know? Like yeah. I, grew, I grew up listening <laughs> to uh, Cross Canadian Ragweed and, and Wade, Wade Bowen's the reason why I made the decision to start playing music. Nice. And uh, yeah. That's sure. amazing. Yeah. So what was the turning point where you were like, okay, I'm going to go 100% all in on music? Uh, it was 2019. Mm -hmm. um, I was working as a skip tracer, somebody that finds people that stop paying on their car notes and then calls them up and talks to them and the next question gets gonna be, out. What is that? Because yeah. I was like, okay, hang on. <laughs> um, and I was like, I can't do this anymore. And I just released Medicine Man, the Medicine Man EP. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was like, I, I got to do this. I gotta swing for the fences and never look back. That's amazing. Well, you've had some incredible success and some really amazing releases yeah. so far. Who are some of your biggest like songwriting influences still to this day let's say jason isbell for sure okay um ryan bingham if we're talking about songwriters we're gonna, i'm gonna go with john moreland as well okay yeah those are some big ones for me and i also heard that you're a huge fan of whiskey myers yeah that's my that's my uh, favorite band of all time for sure nice yeah so i know the big thing right now is like everyone's looking at their spotify wrapped or whatnot what would yours say uh mine actually whiskey myers wasn't even in it uh <laughs> My my top five, I think, were uh, Jason Isbell, Charles Wesley Godwin, oh yeah, uh, Leonard Skinner, and Ryan Adams. I love that. Yeah, that's a pretty eclectic group. Yeah. So okay, earlier today um, on socials, I sort of like did a story and let people know that I was going to talk to you, and I got an open-ended question where I was like, guys, just submit some questions that you might want to know from Tanner. So I have a few rapid okay. fires. Cool. Are you cool if we do that? Yeah. Okay. The first one actually. Uh, made me laugh because I'm curious if you know who this is coming from. He says, how do you like your agent? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he's all right. You know. 
He just, he, he, he busts his ass. I love, I love him to death. Well, that's awesome. I was like, you know what? We won't have to show it if it's, you can be totally transparent yeah. here. Um, this one's not really a question, but someone says, your music is awesome, but a few songs break my heart over and over again. Yeah. So there's some good feedback there. Um, <laughs> no. What is your favorite and least favorite Thanksgiving food? My favorite is going to, I'm going to have to go with sweet potatoes, uh, okay. sweet potato casserole. I love that. Great choice. Is there really a least favorite? I don't know. I don't think there's a least favorite. Not a fan of cranberry sauce. Like, I don't know if that's a thing. I like the cranberry sauce from a can. There you go. Cranberry sauce. I don't like stuffing either. I like stuffing. Okay. I'm a stuffing guy, for sure. <laughs> Agree to disagree on that one question. Is there an artist that you would absolutely love to collab with, dead or alive? Dead or alive? Um... I would have to go with probably Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. You heard it here first. Yeah. Johnny Cash. What is the weirdest thing you've ever had to autograph? <laughs> I don't know if it's weird, but I had to write Beautiful Lies on somebody's arm and they got it autographed. And it, if you saw, if you've seen my handwriting, you know why that was a terrible idea. Oh man, they probably tattooed it, didn't they? They did. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, but we're it's authentic now. Yeah, if it's... you like write your own, you know. Favorite road snack? A road snack. Um, you know those pop chips? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the white cheddar ones. See, obviously, the people are asking the really heavy hitting questions. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, are you doing any West Coast stops on your upcoming tour? Sounds like I you think are. We might. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Well, he thinks he might. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, which is really funny because I always tend to ask this question, but it also feels like kind of asking a parent if they have a favorite child. Mm. They're like, no, I don't really have a favorite child. But do you have a favorite song of yours that you've ever written or recorded? Yeah, I think my favorite song that I've ever recorded is probably Pick Up Your Phone. Okay. Uh, my favorite song to play live right now is Destiny. Nice. Dude, Destiny is a jam. But my favorite song off the record is Evelyn's Eyes, so it's okay. like, it's, I put them in different categories. Well, that's fine. I'm always curious if, like, you have an actual, like, favorite that yeah. you've written. Um, appreciate y'all listening. Tanner Esri, make sure you set your alarms tomorrow to go do the pre-sale tonight and actually get the tickets for the tour tomorrow yep. and if you guys are in town watching him tonight it's going to be an incredible show um, make sure you stream crossing lines and beautiful lies and we'll catch you guys next time cool thank you so much thanks appreciate it yeah